Here we are at uh, Horizon, 15 Horizon Avenue. Stan Becker for uh, Horizon Health Action Coalition. It's my old apartment up there. That's where LaFoy was stabbed. That's where my back of my head was crushed. That's the apartment Keith died in. That's where Daryl jumped from. It's where Gary Stewart has visited me. This is where I had a retaliatory eviction a year and a half ago without attorney. This is the Poverty Pimp Homeless Industrial Complex capital of the world. Tax exempt real estate investment equity. This is the most, the most first responder deployed building in Mike Bonin's district. I'm surprised he's not here for a photo op with uh, Eric Garcetti. December 6th, 2020. Stan Becker. That's what I do now. American citizen. It's Keith's apartment there. How many thousands of billings for nothing? By how many hundreds? From St. Joseph's Staff Rape Center, year after year. Venice Community Housing Corporation, Steve Clare, Becky Dennison, Linda Lux. Check their board of directors. The deep blue liberal. Oh, here comes the canine officers. Uh, do you know? This is. Uh, I didn't bring my camera, I'm just using this cell phone, so I don't know how to zoom. You try. Okay, that's the first time uh, Grandpa here is uh, reluctant, to, reluctant into the world of technology, but grateful for it as well. So I can share my song reportage with you. Stan Becker, YouTube channel, Good God Almighty. This is the scene of so many tragedies, preventable screaming rapes. There's been, th that's the residential manager's apartment. There's been three of them, three of them. The first one sexually assaulted two women and video stalked them. Section three video cameras. Before I was critically stabbed, my brother right out right out here. I'm going to calm down and not re-traumatize myself. But, uh, you know, I've been to so many surgeons and emergency rooms because of the homeless industrial complex, because of being targeted, and because they can't be any victims, my color and my age, working in the real economy, caring about this community, where I've lived for 40 years. I'm proud of those years. Gary Stewart was too. What's going on? We'll find out in time. You don't want to be intrusive? These there are so many officers in. This helicopter's been circling regularly. Now there are some canine officers being deployed. I'm sorry about the amateur camera work. You know, I'm a country rock singer, not a, and my hands are free, uh, freezing up here. I'm gonna stay with it though. Steve Clare, Becky Dennison, Jack Hoffman, the Corruption Circle, Carl Lambert sold this building to Steve Clare, the real estate power.
power, political power circle, the tax-exempt real estate investment equity in the hundreds of millions of dollars. They get HHH billions now. We're talking billions, no longer hundreds of millions. They're defunding, demeaning, endangering our police, our Pacific Division police. One of them got cracked in the head from behind. Two of our sheriffs got shot in the face. A young woman, a young woman and a young man officer. A librarian wanted a professional librarian, wanted to become a law enforcement officer. God bless that woman. Shot in the face, she still gave assistance to her fellow officer got to the hospital and there was a protest because they wanted him to die in the ambulance. Okay, that's funded mock mobocracy. That's not the black and brown brothers and sisters I've lived with for 40 years and see every day. I'm not going to be editing this. I'm not a professional news person. I'm a country rock singer, but uh, I am responsible for Horizon Health Action Coalition YouTube, Horizon Health Action Coalition Facebook, when Zuckerberg stops haunting me, stops banning me, restricting my feeds, telling me I don't meet community standards and I never use a profane word or a threat ever. Who's facts checking me? From what country? Trained to hate, just like the stooge diseased subculture here. St. Joseph Staff Rape Center, Project Rape Key. How many hundreds of millions of dollars each year? Valicia Killam Adams, Rainbow Spikes model for Needle Beach, claims 5,000 service units. Let's follow the money. Let's follow the personnel. Let's follow the billing codes. Let's follow the results. Why are hundreds of people? This is a quid pro quo from Luskin. This is Felicia, Felicia Huffman kind of deals, you know? UCLA Luskin, Department of Mental Health. What's Nilsa Gallardo make, 300,000, 400,000? Boy, when I learn how to work this phone, it's gonna be great, huh? Hopefully I'll be in a recording studio and not... homeless for the rest of my life. That's my home, right? From August 2011 to July 19th, 2019, retaliatory eviction without attorney, Gary Stewart was gonna be in that courtroom with me. Instead, he jumped from those, from those parking structures behind Santa Monica Superior Court, where that Superior Court judge doesn't make half of what Nilsa Gallardo makes or what these millionaire rainbow spokesmodels make. The crime that's never reported here. There was a woman murdered three nights ago, or was it four nights ago? Right around here, right Westminster. You can see the street from here. And another one raped and killed on Venice Pier. That's not even unusual. But George Francisco in the changer, Chamber of Poverty Pimp Commerce isn't going to give you anything but his millionaire spin, real estate spin. And he's gonna be helped by the free Venice beachhead, Eric Alberg, master of white rape culture, pretending to be a liberal progressive, or if that's what defines, if that's regressive, regressivism, however you say that, is standing for progress or progressive movement. It's heinous. It's heinous. These are Bitterman coercion chart techniques that they use in Guantanamo. Don't tell me Dirty Roger Mahoney doesn't know about that. Even Cardinal Gomez called those tactics brutal and painful. Yet it continues. Yet Ed Buck was protected and empowered. Tenants from a building like this, 
Larry Fishburne family had that apartment up there with an ocean view for seven years. They're doing okay. It's all quid quo quo. Quid pro quo. It's all pay to play. Eric Garcetti City Council is awash with federal indictments for pay to play collusion scams. It's awash with it. It's a national embarrassment. Do you know these are not victimless crimes? These are not victim victimless crimes. When Valish is a millionaire. When Becky Dennison has drawn a million dollars in a few years, she's here. Minnesota radical activist, white explaining things, white daddy's plantation princess. At fundraiser, she talks about she's spreading daddy's golden sprinkles. I mean, you can't even make this up. Bridget Bell, Bridget Bell, that stooge in charge of a department. What happened to Maxwell Harris? asset manager. He was never an asset manager before. He comes from Hollywood community housing. You see, it's tactical. It's a roundup. It's a tax-exempt real estate investment equity. Hundreds of millions of dollars now into billions. Kingmaker control, political power play. And it's cynical because Mike Bonin talks about, oh, you hate gays if you dare say anything about him because he exploits that community. That community of professionals in West Hollywood are not murderers. They're not Ed Buck Mengla like torture murderers. They're not inducing panic on purpose because they get off on it. They're not injecting methadrine to young people to the point of paralysis because that's how spiders, worse than spiders, spiders are just feeding and taking care of surviving the species. These people do it for perverse kicks or for God knows what they do. God knows what somebody does who purposefully induces death panic on a child. Jamel journaled. He journaled. He knew he was going to die. And these people sell hope. And these people sell hope. Hope, hope, hope. Watch my Mockingbird Sings video because it has several stills from German director's magnificent Metropolis by visionary, prescient, brilliant filmmaker. I don't know if he's ever been equaled, and he was a silent film director. Metropolis is the film. You've got the archetype of the builder. You've got the archetype of the, the activist selling hope. These are your children, our children. You know, I, I, Lang's film, she ends up a demon Roma, robot, okay? That's a silent error film, and you've got that gentleman displaying every societal archetype. The builder, the planner, the doctor, the factories, the elite. The builder's son falls in love with the pure heart of the activist, only to find out she's a demon robot. Yes, it goes into actually injecting people and then so that they're locked down and controlled. It happens to the, the master planner's son who falls in love with Becky Dennison, you know, because he does his hardest move because he cares like Gary cares, like I care. These police have Thank me. I've given CPR. I've put people's faces back together. Nilsa Gallardo saw me do that with her staff all frozen. The guy bleeding out on the floor there. I didn't even know I didn't have to go. They trick you into these hundreds of billings and a mangled. Oh man, six dead, 20 units, six dead, 12 evictions without attorney. What's going on? Meth, meth units, infamous, infamous meth units. It's unimpeachable. Horizon Health Action Coalition has all this documented. I took pictures of LaFoy's wounds. He's my brother. He's just got off of a cane with three breaks in his leg from another attack. You can't get a lawyer because everybody's left. Everybody's, you know, uh, got an inappropriate political agenda, but they're using federal funds and state funds and county funds.
I was a Democrat when I moved in here. I'm probably the most uh, dedicated and aspiring to deeper education uh, Republican Party member now. Yeah, I'm on your list, hi huh, Anesthesia. Hi huh, Kamala, you're making a list, you're checking it twice. Check my Facebook page, Stan Becker. Read homeless, lab rat lockdown homeless blues because I tried to escape the violence in the emergency rooms and the crippling lifetime irreversible injuries. And I drove 10,000 miles in three months across this country in 24 states. And I interviewed law enforcement in Wyoming and in Portland and in Eugene and in places in the middle. And I was caught in that incredible forest fire as well. Days and nights homeless. You know, you open the window of the car uh, to breathe and it's worse. So it's been a real crucible, huh? Mike Bonin cares, right? How many gay African Americans as long as he's Mr. Exploitation? He's a meth street hustler. He's Dirty Roger Mahiney's rag boy. It's Garcetti. Ed Buck. Mike Bonin. Gavin Newsom, Nancy Pelosi, Jerry Brown, and their dynasties. Bonin's grandfather, Jerry Brown, two generations, Gavin Newsom, two generations, and the Pelosi family. Where did they go to high school? What, how did they get indoctrinated to be so demonic and selfish and entitled and racist? Maxwell Harris, asset manager, right from Hollywood Community Housing Corporation, who's never an asset manager before. Because he's a stooge, he's a plant, he's a Steve Clear plant. Several dozens of high violations. Oh, the disasters. It's traumatizing to even try to tell you about it. Mockingbird Sings video came out. That uh, angry, vicious blowback stooge uh, got uh, removed. But Bobby Maddox, his violent enforcer, well, Becky Dennison still had him to use. And also, uh, they've got pretty much everybody in this town, including uh, Bobby Tillman, her honor racist. Burnell Williams, Maxwell's assistant, now runs some. I mean, you know, turnover, high turnover in staff and clients is part of the game because unaccountability is tactical. And that's what protection rackets do. That's what Dirty Roger Mahoney was famous for for years and years and years, putting abusers back into the culture, you know, and a culture where people were coming so tender of ears, and so tender of heart, and so honest of intentions, and so impressionable. And the possibility of great transcendence and the overwhelming beauty of empowerment of the liturgy. Do you know? And they meet these perverse pedophiles, you know? And they spread that cape, you know, and and, and and for years and years and years, I interviewed Robert Kenyon now at St. Joseph Center for quite some time. I interviewed him in depth. He told me about the generations and generations of dysfunction from just one incident like this. The suicides, the disasters, the alcoholism, the drug addiction, the abuse, the assaults, the beatings. That's just one. And it goes for generations. That's what's really happening here. What are they reimagining? They're defunding what? They're funding themselves. It's theft. We need our police. And we need our police to be respected and respectable. You know? Yeah, held accountable. Replace them with a less, with a, with a totally unaccountable prison mentality hierarchy? Yeah, you're, that's your reset. That's the same old. Uh, that's the same old tactic and trick. 
They're illusionists. Digital media marketing divisions. Is uh, really what they do. Mike Bonin gets plastic surgery, gets yanked, gets his meth hustler mouth replaced by his rich family and makeover Molly is trying to look like the 15 year old boys and his partner Red Buck sex traffic and threw out onto the boulevard before he killed for pleasure and, and kicks. What the hell is that inducing death and panic and paralysis? For that extra rush? What, what is that? That's Pharaoh Nimrod demonic. Eric Garcetti, good Catholic boy. Pelosi has to keep on mentioning Catholicism. Profane my Aunt Terry and my cousins and my people. So precious to me, I, so personal to me and my family. Family and my closest family of friends. It's demonic, it's disrespectful. It's not the Catholic religion. Surely not Jesus Christ or his earthly father, whose name they blaspheme. Come and get me, Camilla. This is where you belong. A lot of people do what you do for a living out here. Where's Hunter? I mean, this is the drug house, the prostitution house, the crack house. More police, more fire, more emergencies, more ambulances than any other address in the district. What's going on? I'm in Facebook jail right now, so this is going to be my, uh, my first two-hour special on the YouTube. Sweetheart, how you doing, okay? Yeah.